Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox 2 video. Today we are going to be giving the moon a moon. So I know I won't claim this is my idea because I've seen people do it on YouTube before. But anyways, I thought I, I, I want to give it a try as well because I've never actually really done this in the game. So yeah, without further ado, let's get started. So it's probably a shorter video than usual but it won't have any large effects. So what should we add as the moon? Should we just get a small moon? Okay, that'll work. So as you can see, we can actually put something quite far from the moon, but if we put it too far, it will just go around Earth like that, so... We don't want to put it too close, because if it goes too close, it will get destroyed by the moon's gravity, probably. It will probably get destroyed, so let's have a look. Will it get destroyed? Is it not? Surely. Well, yeah, look, it's getting destroyed, so it can't go too close, otherwise that will happen. Uh, the moon's tidal forces will literally just shred it apart like that, so... Yeah, there you go. And the moon will have a ring system, pretty much. But anyway, let's just load up a new simulation. So, let's go right here, let's go all the way to Earth, in my uh, normal simulation as usual, the, the custom Sedna Planet 9 one as well, so let's go in here, right, let's um, quickly add a moon to the planet, there we go, let's put the temperature up to 15 so it doesn't bug me, hit play, and voila, alright, so here's the moon, now let's add a moon in, well, I'll customise it as well, why not, alright, so here we go, well that's a little too large, wow, alright, what colour do we want? If you reselect it, you get different colours. Well, that's too small, wow. I don't want ones with no texture, I want something with a texture. Alright, there we go. Yeah, this one's called Fecury. It looks a little like Mercury in colour as well, that's pretty cool. Alright, so, how far away do we want to pull it? Alright, so Earth starts to take over from about here, so I split it down to about there, I think. Alright, so now the moon actually has a moon of its own, so what should we call it, honestly? I don't even know. Oh, there we go. How does this resemble Mercury as well? Is it actually... Let's get Mercury in here quick. Yeah, look, it literally looks like Mercury. That's pretty cool. I say, so we've got our, like, custom Mercury, I guess. That's pretty sweet. Right, anyways. As you can see, there's this orbit around the moon. You can see it's kind of bent already because of the Earth. I guess the Earth's trying to tug it and try and pull it away. So, this may not be a very successful orbit, but... So far, we have a moon around a moon. So, that's pretty cool. And its temperature's actually heating up. No atmosphere doesn't reflect much light, so I think that heat is actually coming from the moon's tidal forces because there's no other reason why it'd be heating up, like the, the sun definitely isn't hot enough to reflect oh no 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 no, it is the sun as you can see there, it only reflects 13% of the light it receives, so that means it absorbs 87% I think, yeah I'm doing my math right, yeah 87% of the light it receives, it absorbs, so it heats up, so that's why this thing's getting quite hot so that's going to be quite a hot moon, actually. But anyways, should we get a look from where Earth is? Let's have a look at our two moons from the surface. Let's go to Australia, since it's right here. All right. Let's land on the surface. All right, there we go. Now, where are they? Where's our moon? There it is. You can just see it right there. So it looks like if we ever had a moon of the moon, it'd be very tiny. Because the moon's quite far away, remember? Look, if we get a um, quick um, thing out here. Look, from the Earth... Wait. Damn it. All right, from Earth, it's about... Can I look, please? This is about 400... I'll say about 420,000-ish kilometres from the Earth. So that's pretty far away. As you can see from the moon, the Earth looks doesn't look that large either. But anyways, let's see what um, will eventually happen if this moon orbits around the moon too long. I, I'm still sure Earth will eventually pull it away. I have no idea. So I've never tried this. I know loads of people have done it, but I've never actually watched anyone else's videos of this. I've just seen like thumbnails on like the um, recommended list, but anyways, so as you can see, we've got a crazy, crazy like binary thing going on here, almost. Wow. So the Earth isn't really getting affected by this. Obviously, none of the other solar systems getting affected either. So it's literally just all to the Earth system, but more about the Moon system now. Now the Earth's the parent body, and then the Moon would pretty much be the planet, and then this would be the Moon of the planet. I don't think we've ever discovered any planet with like including exoplanets with a Moon. Um, as a moon, so I don't know what you. I don't know. I didn't, that didn't make sense. So a moon that's orbiting a moon. There we go. Get my English right. All right. So it looks like Fecury here isn't really. I guess that's it. I don't know. It, yeah, look, you can see it's or, no, it's not it actually. Its orbit's changed again because it wasn't like a complete circle earlier. Let's actually keep an eye on the orbit. Actually, is it going to bend again? Because there's no way it's going to stay the same. That orbit will continually change. I'm going to speed up a little more. Oh, well, this is crazy. Let's actually speed up a few years. Anything going to happen? It could just get thrown out any second now. Like, oh, I have no idea. Alright, so it doesn't look like anything's actually going to happen. So that's interested me, actually. I didn't know I think that would happen. So, so this is a stable moon, but 
Anyways, let's start making this area a little more chaos. So, let's turn off orbit again. And now let's give the moon more than one moon. Okay, that's a little too large. Alright, small moons again. So let's put one here. Let's go one out here. There, and let's go there. Alright, so now the moon has got five moons. And this one is pretty large, actually. Made of, has this got ice on it? Let's have a look. Yeah, it has a lot of ice on it. Alright. So now, if we look from Earth, we've got a whole show of moons in the sky. They're still very small, though. As you can see there. Oh, look, the moon's still like the main one. Alright. Let's go back to these guys, and something will happen here. These these will not stay in a stable orbit. Look, you see the orbits are already getting bent and stuff. Really, Alright. So. Oh, this one. This one's getting destroyed by the sun here. Let's stop that. Let's make it reflect a little more light. Well, that... Is it... Or is it going to get... Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. What am I doing? Doesn't look like it's going to actually stop um, getting destroyed. So I don't know why it's doing that. You'd think the ones closer to the moon would get destroyed first, but I won't question the game's logic. <laughs> All right. So. There's no way this is going to stay. Surely one of the moons will get ejected eventually. You can see all the orbits are going crazy right now. About the moon. Yeah, the moon itself. Even the moon itself is getting altered. That's pretty interesting. Oh, something hit the moon. As you can see, the moon looks a little more white right now, so I'm guessing some of the water evaporated, or some of the water was torn off by tidal force and it landed on the moon. That's why I can see it's got 1.01 moons and it looks more, more white, because you can see water land on it. It usually looks like this, but now we've got a bit of water on it, so... Could we colonise the moon now? Maybe. <laughs> Alright, yeah, and tell me, if I should colonise any planet in the system, tell me as well. Yeah, anything on this list, tell me, what should I colonise? Alright. Including gas giants, I can colonise those. Alright, anyways. Let's see. Oh, wow, that's pretty crazy. Yeah, and also, um, don't worry, the next video um, of turning the planet into the star will be soon. And so far, it looks like Saturn is going to win. So, next um, video, I'll probably be turning Saturn into a star. But to any any object that I haven't done yet, tell me. And it, the vote could change to something else. And I could pick another one. But Saturn seems like the strongest vote right now. From looking at all of the videos' comments. So, I mean, I'm not just doing the last video's comments. I'm looking at every single video I've ever made, like, comments. For what I should turn into a star next. Whenever I've asked that in a video. But anyways... Yeah, I don't see, like, this This moon here is getting shredded apart. See, it's all the hit bits are hitting the moon there. So now the moon's getting a bunch of new craters. Wait, did we lose one? Oh, whoa. Uh, it looks like Earth has stolen this one here. Yeah, so obviously it got ejected from the moon's little system. Now it's just in orbit of good old Earth. So, yeah, I knew this wouldn't last long. All right. So maybe if something gets ejected the wrong way, it could just go in orbit of the sun. No idea. All right. Oh, why does it keep on doing that? That's so weird. Look at all of the evaporation going right now. I don't know if that's the sun or just tidal forces, honestly. Alright. Wait, is Fekri still here? Oh, yeah, it is. Look, check it out. It's still there. Alright. Actually, it might keep this object for future uses. It literally looks like Mercury. Alright. Save that. Right. Let's see. Yeah, and this should be coming up to the end of the video now. So, hopefully, if you um, liked it, make sure you hit the like button. Subscribe if you want more. And it'll keep on like inspiring me to do them, I guess. I don't know. I, like, I enjoy doing these anyway. Alright. So, hey, this one's got blue on it, that's kind of weird, I don't think that would be a natural colour. Alright, so, are we in a stable system again, eh? So it looks like only when you add a moon to the moon, it doesn't really do anything, like, nothing really changes, but... And it was stable, like, you saw, I run, I've run, i run the system for 30 years now, like, nothing really happened. I could do it for thousands of years, but, honestly, I don't, I don't particularly want to do that, because it'd just take forever. Especially when you speed up too much, the game will slow down eventually. Because obviously it's not just these ones moving around, it's got all of the main system as well, and it's all of these particles, they all have their own physics, so it lags the game more. So no matter how good your PC is, this game will eventually lag it out at some point, if you do too much. Alright. Unless you've got like, one terabyte of RAM, then you may be safe, but honestly I don't know. Alright. So I think that will end off the video because like nothing's really changed on that. I'll speed it up. I will speed it up. So got about 13 years a second now. Even though it's not really doing that, even though it says it is. So nothing's really happening here. Said no planet nine are barely moving. And the moon's even evaporating because of all of the um why is it even doing that? The moon even the moon's evaporating because of all the um water it landed on its surface when it tore apart that other moon. Alright, let's slow down again. Yes, it doesn't look like much is happening. Wait, is the Earth heated up? Oh, the Earth's heated up as well. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Where did this come from? So it looks like Fecury here. I, I, still think, I think I'm saying that right. So it's got too close to the Earth. The Earth has torn it up. 
and it obviously looks like the the um, tidal heating from Mercury there has heated up the Earth. You can see the North Pole has a, a um, the North Pole has a um, what's the word evaporated. The South Pole has no longer got ice on it. So remember, Antarctica is actually like land, not just ice. The North Pole is just ice because Greenland isn't the North Pole. The North Pole is here. But anyways, so it looks like Mercury has actually um, made the Earth a little warmer. As you can see, 26.2 degrees right now. So. And is it permanently at that now? Looks like it is. So, the Earth is permanently heated up forever, and... Okay, the whole system is completely crazy now. Yeah, eventually something will get ejected, but... Yeah, I think you get the point now. <laughs> there's there's not really much me showing you <laughs> from this point onwards. Yeah, so basically, eventually something like this will happen. It'll go around the Earth, and it'll just get thrown out like that. And then, obviously, this one as well. It will either hit the moon, like... It will either hit the moon. Please hit the moon. Okay, I'll leave it there. It will either hit the moon, or it will literally just get slung out the system as well, like that. So, eventually it will just remain with the two largest objects. Well, the moon still has a moon around it, so that that's pretty much safe now. Nothing will happen to that. And obviously, this one here is way too close to Earth, so the moon's obviously not going to steal it back. So, this is now the permanent setup of the Earth. Nothing else is going to happen from this point onwards, pretty much. And obviously, if these ones get ejected, they'll just orbit the sun like that, so... We may be able to call them planets or dwarf planets. I have no idea. But anyways, like I said, hopefully you all enjoyed. Leave a like, subscribe if you're new. Any more video ideas, please tell me in the comments. And yeah, hopefully you're all having a good day. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.